guys, welcome to my TV guide. I am coming to you with a tag called the Dairy Me tag. So I looked around YouTube, I typed in, you know, I typed in what I wanted to call it, Dairy Me tag, and all I could find was Truth the Dare tags, the Dare tag, and all that stuff. So it, this hasn't been done. As far as I could see. So the daring me tag is basically about the daring things that you've done. Because I was thinking about, the, about it the other day. And I was basically reflecting on the things that I've done. The things that, you know, I almost chickened out of. But ended up doing. And, you know, of course I was proud of myself for doing it. And I en ended up enjoying the experience. So this tag is basically to reflect on yourself. And basically to, you know, it's self-congratulating. Congratulating yourselves on what you've done that you didn't think you could do, what you were told that you couldn't do, and, you know, all that good stuff. So feel good tag, mostly. So the first question, it's only six questions. The first question in the Daring Me tag is the most recent daring thing that you've done. So the most recent um, daring thing that I've done is start a YouTube channel. I mean, well, not start a YouTube channel, but start making YouTube videos because I've had my YouTube account for like seven years, and I think it's for exactly seven years. I've been watching videos, reading videos, I have a whole bunch of playlists, and favorited videos and all that good stuff, but I recently started to make videos, and in the process of making videos and all that stuff, it's very nerve-wracking, because you can't help but think about how you're going to come off, and what people are going to think of you, how you look, and all that stuff, like... It brings you, because I've been working on appreciating myself and my looks and all that stuff, and so it's almost like a step back because you're back, it, it takes you to that place of worrying about what people think of you, how you're going to come off, how they're going to judge you, and all that stuff. So that's the most daring thing, the most recent daring thing I've done um, is start a YouTube channel. So the second question is the most daring thing you've done up to this point, which is different from most recent, the most daring. So the most daring thing I've done um, up to this point, within it happened in 2010 when I applied to go to Paris, France to study abroad for a whole semester. And I remember because I was a sophomore in college, so and I've always wanted to travel. Um, I'm from Haiti, so and then I traveled here, but I've always wanted that to be part of my life, traveling, and I've always wanted to study abroad because I've seen it on TV and all that stuff, and so I've always wanted to do it. And so I saw the fairs. I would see the fairs, I saw them freshman year, I saw them sophomore year, and I, you know, I walk around, go to every country, every table, and all that stuff, and then I finally, I, I remember making the decision to pick up a form. And then of course, there's there's that thing where you want to do something, and you, you pick it up, you know, it's that process before you actually do it. So I picked up the form, and what I could have done was just leave it. Pick it up, put it on my desk, and just forget about it. Or put it in the drawer and completely forget about it. But I started, I don't remember if I did it that day, but I applied. And, you know, I filled everything out, you know, because it's a whole process. You need to get documents together. Then you need to submit it. The submission was when it was like, yes, I'm going to do it. So that's the most dang thing I've done up to this point was apply to go live in another country. I spoke French. I speak French. Um, fluently, so understanding it, it's all that, but it's like going to live there, people, with people that I, I don't know, and the thing was, taking that chance, I went there prepared to, like, be by myself, because it wasn't like, oh, best friend, let's go together, you know, I didn't have a cushion there as far as, like, another person that I would be expressing this with, but it turns out, um, one of the girls in my French, French class was gonna go too. She was going, she was in the middle of applying too, and so we, we, we got close that way. So in deciding, daring to do this, I ended up making a friend, and we're still friends to this day, and I love her, and we're still close, and we got super close experiencing Paris friends together, and all of the, you know, <laughs> drama, and I mean like financial aid drama, and all that stuff, breakdowns, crying into tears, as you can see from me smiling, it was a great experience, it turned into a great experience, because when we were going through it, it was a, there wasn't anything great about it, but yes, the most dirty thing I've done up to this point. So, the most, number three, the most life-changing daring thing that you've done, the most life-changing daring thing that you've done 
happened, I did it four years ago. It was four years in August. I think August 12th. Four years ago, 2010, August 12th, before I went to Paris, I decided to cut my hair and go natural. Life changing. Because I said, told you guys earlier, that I've been on this journey to, you know, appreciate my face not like down myself, you know, my, you know, my physical looks and all that stuff. Because like internally, oh yeah, I'm smart and all that stuff. But like physically, you know, like physically and, you know, shallowly, I have not always ever, you know, been into how I look and all that stuff. So I cut my hair because, and it was this whole thing, it was this whole thing, you know, um, I started watching this Brazilian these scenes from a Brazilian show, The Girl Had Natural Hair, was not my texture. Her curls were a lot looser. But I loved the way her hair looked. And so then it made me, that's how I discovered, like, the natural side of YouTube. I started watching all these videos from um, African Export, um, Kimmy Tube, you know, all these natural hair women. And so I was like, oh, I love the way their hair looks. And after looking at baby, um, well, not baby pictures, but pictures of myself when I was younger, back when my hair was natural. And so, without really, um, trans, you know, I transitioned in terms of I went three months without a relaxer, and then I cut my hair in August. I'm like, this is perfect. I'm, I got in. I'm going to Paris. New beginning. I'm going there. Short hair. No one knows me over there. It's going to be great. And it was. And so, ever since I've cut my hair, um, I've gone on this journey to love my face. If you, on Facebook, I have an album called, um, what is it called? The self. It's called the self. And it's all about me taking pictures of my face, taking selfies, because I want to love and be comfortable with my face the way it comes up. And pictures especially, because pictures are the points where you're like, you know, I don't like... Because there's that, there's the normal, oh, I don't like the way it looks. But then there's the, you know, self-esteem thing where it's like you just don't like the way your face shows up in pictures. And that's what I want to leave behind. And I've been doing very well so far. I like, I typically now, now, I love the way I look in pictures, out of pictures. I love the way I look more than I don't. You know, I have more days where I love it than, you know, days where I don't love the way my face looks. So the most life-changing, bearing thing that I've done was cut off my relaxed hair. Like, went super short. Super short. No transitioning to get some, no, super short. So, yeah. So, the next one. Something daring that you wish you had done. You know, you were, you wanted to do it, you had the thought, maybe came super, super close, but at the end you just backed out. I actually don't have an answer for this. And maybe it's because, I don't know, I haven't lived or something like that. But let me tell you guys, <laughs> let you know, let you in a little bit. Regret is one, like, to truly, truly regret something. To truly, truly do something or not do something, but especially do something that you regret and you just can't take it back. That regret is, like, one of my biggest fears where I will do something, especially do something, like, make a choice, make a decision that I just super, super regret and I can't take it back. That seriously gets my anxiety going. I don't ever want, and I, of course I have to be realistic, people are going to make mistakes, I'm going to make mistakes, but like, like true, like legit regret where that thing just stays with you, I don't ever want to go through that. Like, please Jesus, don't let it, no, please. So, something, you know, daring that you didn't do, that you, something daring that you regret doing, I don't. I, I, that, I haven't had that yet, so if you've had it, you know, you're doing the tag, please let me know. Um, but I haven't had um, anything like that. So on the next one, something there that you wish you had done, haven't really. Everything that I haven't done, you know, I have no. I, ha I don't regret not doing them. So something daring that you did do that you regret doing, and once again playing into my fear, I don't have an answer to that either. I don't have an answer to that either. Like there isn't anything that I did that I regret doing at all. So, oh, but you know what? I think, let me go back, because something daring that I didn't do and wish that I had done was actually, I went to clubs, 
not dancing clubs, but I belonged to basically one club in college. And, you know, I didn't have a car, so it was a hassle to, like, because at the end of the day, I just wanted to go home. So it was a hassle to stay and then go wait for the shuttle, then take the bus and go to my apartment and all that stuff. But I wish I had dedicated more, made more of an effort and to, you know, not only go to that club, um, go to the club meetings and all that stuff, but actually to join, like, the e-board. Join the e-board and actually, or either, like, go for secretary or treasurer or whatever, PR, president, whatever. I wish I had done that. And I feel like, I, I have my bachelor's right now. I feel like maybe when I go for my master's, um, maybe when I'm a graduate, whatever. When I go back to college, um, I, I, I'm now, you know, I've, everything I've done and whatever. Well, not everything I've done, but, like, you know, the months and, you know, years that have gone by since I didn't do that, I feel like I would feel more confident in my ability to do that. I will be more confident. I would actually apply. I would actually show up enough so that, you know, when I apply, people would actually know who I am and I'd be like, who the hell are you and why do you want to be on our e-board? We don't even remember your face. So, yes. So, something daring that you wish you had done. I wish I would have gone, you know, been more committed to, um that organization and gone to more meetings and then, you know, applied to be on the e-board. So that's that. So I actually had an answer for that. But the one about, you know, something daring that you regret doing, I don't have an answer for that. And then last one, one daring thing that you would like to do in the future. So something that you have in mind, um, and maybe you're nervous about it, maybe, you know, whatever, but you would like to do it, you like the thought of doing it, you like the thought of getting over the fear and doing it. So I'm going to keep this one very, very light. I don't think I have anything deep or anything like that. But I was talking about, um, I was talking to my sister the other, night, the other night because we were watching videos of these people who are in these slingshot rides. Look for them on YouTube. They're there. They go on these slingshot rides in the amusement parks and then one of them like passes out. So the last time I went on a roller coaster even, was last year, 2013, for my graduation. We went to Bush Gardens, and, you know, I went on a roller coaster. I didn't go on Shikra. My brother wanted to go, and I just, I was looking at that thing. The drop? I couldn't do it. It is a drop. And maybe it's because, you know, it's been a full year since I went, but I feel like the more time goes by, the more I'm afraid to go on roller coasters. But I would like to go on a slingshot ride and get shot up into the air I don't know what happens when you're in the air. It's a slingshot. So, do you get shot up and then you drop back down? or Because in the video, it looks like they're up there for a little bit and they're, like, tossed around. But, yeah, one daring thing I would like to do is not to go on Shikra. I will never go on Shikra. I don't ever need to go on Shikra. It's way too high. And you're dingling. I just don't need to. I can't. But the slingshot, I would have to do it because I want to I jump out of a plane. I want to go, um, what is it, parachuting? I want to jump out of a plane, so, but for some reason, maybe it's because I'm not, I don't, maybe it's because that's, like, farther away, I feel like there's less chance, there's more chance I'll go to an amusement park and there's a slingshot ride right there, rather than I'm going to take myself, find a place that does that, take myself to the plane, and then, you know, strap myself to somebody and jump out. So, yeah, it's like, even talking about it in my stomach is a knot, but I would like, one daring thing I'd like to do in the future is go on a slingshot. Right. So that's the tag. That's my contribution to it. You guys, please respond and do the tag. Tag people you know. Tag people you like and all that stuff. Make your own videos and answer the tag. I'd really like to know what you guys have to say. Your life experiences, what you're proud of, what you regret, what you'd like to do. The people I, I would really like to um, do this so I could hear the answers. Um, I'm tagging Gabe from the Gabe Fix. I'm tagging Chad um, on from Chad's Life. Patricia Bright. Patricia from Patricia Bright. And Miss PTV. And that's pretty much it. Keeping it short. Hope you guys do this. Hope you guys see this and do this. And I can't wait to see what you put up. And lastly, if you can think of um, any more questions to add to it, 
either comment and let me know and I will do a second video or add it in yours and maybe I'll, maybe I'll, if you add it, if you comment in on my video, I'll definitely do a second video. If you add it in yours and I think they're interesting, I will do a second video and answer, but I'm not guaranteeing that. But yes, if you want to make it longer than six and there's like, you know, based on your experiences, there's a category of there that you would like to acknowledge, shout out, all that stuff, you know, because it's all about self-congratulating, do it. And I'll watch it. So, that's it. Thank you for watching.